Hello. Well, it's been a few weeks since my last video. I've um, been putting a lot of time in getting set up here uh, in the basement. Um, I've actually been neglecting uh, to get the planting outdoors going, <laughs> which I should get started on this weekend. But uh, uh, here's the progress I've made. Um, this is uh, what I had set up last time, just the parts of the old system. Um, and I had hoped to put in a nice big round uh, conical bottomed fish tank there, but uh, I realized I can't fit it into my basement. <laughs> um, so uh, I went sort of the, uh, the IBC route here and got an IBC, and then if I, if I chopped it up and uh, took it into the basement in pieces, uh, I could fit it in here. Um, and, and so far I'm happy with it. I, I realize uh, I won't be able to keep the bottom of it as clean or as easily as uh, a round tank, um, uh, but that's okay. Um, so it's probably about maybe almost 200 gallons there, and, uh, and then I did sort of the typical chop and made a grow bed out of the, the top half over there. Um, so uh, this is going to be my current setup then, which is uh, a, a sump down here, 60 gallon sump uh, with a, a submersible pump in there, mag drive pump, and uh, pumping it up through a uh, half inch pipe there. Oh, there goes the siphon. Um, and just kind of up through these valves uh, into the grow bed and then another longer run over here to this grow bed, which isn't running yet. Um, and then a, a siphon there into the fish tank and, and then this grow bed over here uh, siphoning into the fish tank. Uh, and then a, uh, a solids lift overflow pipe, uh, which I don't know, we'll see if that works in a square tank <laughs> if it does any good. But at any rate, it, uh, um, it's draining into the sump right now. Uh, the water's a little brown because I added some uh, uh, liquid seaweed to help the plants along um, before I'm ready for fish. Um, actually planted uh, just a week ago and I'm already getting some some good green sprouts going there. Uh, the, uh, the water still isn't conditioned yet. Um, it's uh, been running for probably about three weeks now uh, with this setup and uh, still no nitrites showing up. I've got about two parts per million of ammonia consistently and stable pH, uh, but still no nitrites, so I'm, I'm waiting for that. Um, I did uh, spring for a uh, <clears throat> uh, constant uh, pH meter, um, so that's a nice thing to have. Um, and then the, the only other problem I've had, uh, the, actually the only real problem I've had is uh, when I got this grow bed going, and started to fill it, um, even though I screwed that cap down real tight and it has an O-ring in it, um, it started dribbling water all over the floor. Um, so I was trying to read about how to seal that up and I really don't want to use polyurethane it, <laughs> sealant because that stuff's really nasty. Um, yeah, but I know silicon sealant won't stick very well to polyethylene. But that's what I did anyways. Um, so I, I gummed in a good bit of silicon seal uh, on the inside part there and I'm hoping hoping the water pressure will just kind of uh, force it to, to seal. Um, so we'll see. Uh, give that a shot. It's almost dry. Uh, and then uh, I have a have to mount another uh, grow light up there for, for that bed and get that bed going and uh, running through the system. Um, so far so good. Well, here for one last update before uh, I go out and get fish for the system. Uh, I think uh, next weekend I'll be able to do that. Uh, the uh, water has been cycling for five weeks now, maybe even six, and uh, it processes ammonia quickly through now. Um, uh, nitrites are um, still spiked fairly high, but they're starting to process now because uh, nitrates are showing up in a, in a decent quantity. Um, so I'd say I've probably got about another week, uh, I'm hoping. Um, um, 
Uh, one thing I've learned is that uh, the, the bacteria for the nitrite uh, oxidation don't like uh, very acidic water, and uh, my pH has been dropping um, pretty heavily uh, down to six um, just by itself, and uh, I think that's slowing down the, uh, the nitrite process. Um, so I've been bumping up the pH a bit to, to get that kick started um, a little faster, um, but hopefully ready for fish soon. Um, had to take care of a few things. Um, uh, I, since I'm going to get tilapia, I need to warm the water, and if and I also still need to put in a second grow light over that bed. And uh, if I do that, I'm going to be pulling enough power that I don't really want to run it through this cruddy old uh, uh, power outlet that came with the house. Um, so I took the trouble uh, up here to to run a dedicated circuit um, for the system and uh, hanging, gonna hang the grow lights and heaters off of that and uh, run another uh, branch um, to run the pumps and so on. Um, do have some uh, plant growth going here. Uh, leaves are a little bit yellow so I need to um, add some iron to the system um, and it turns out I actually had the wrong kind of chelated iron uh, additive uh, which is uh, um, doesn't operate at the pH levels uh, um, the system runs at. Um, so I'm ordering some proper, uh, different type of chelated iron, um, and then hopefully the plants will be a little happier. Um, but they're growing. And uh, I got the other grow bed going here. Uh, don't have a light for it, but um, I, I need to add one more layer of gravel to the top there. But um, it's sealed up and running and um, you know, flooding and draining properly, uh, so it's it's adding to the the biological surface area uh, I need, um, and uh, the water is uh, nice and crystal clear, and uh, got all my sensors in place and uh, aeration pump, and uh, ready for fish soon.